Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Tuesday Panic. I'm your host, Paul Turner. And today, uh, it's going to be a little weird, only because of the source of my inspiration today. Uh, every Tuesday, I try to get on iTunes, and I just kind of scour throughout the, you know, the, uh, the songs that are out either today and just uh, the albums that are going on, and I'll click through songs and just see what's out there. Well, I happen to be scanning through, and uh, I wound up seeing uh, Billy Idol uh, actually put out an album, uh, which... Uh, if you grew up in the 80s, Bill I Billy Idol was uh, pretty good, and uh, I was a fan, and so I, some of my favorite songs were probably White Wedding, Blue Highway, uh, and probably Dancing With Myself. That was probably a pretty good one for me, but if you're a Billy Idol fan, you're welcome to leave me <laughs> comments down below your favorite Billy Idol song, or album, or video, or whatever you want to put. But he's got a song on there called Postcards From The Past, and I thought to myself, you know, if I were to explain, just the, the whole thought of you know, sending yourself a postcard. I don't know if you can send a postcard from the past, which is would be like bad memories of things that are coming up. But if I were to define this with our kids, I'd say, listen, what if you were a uh, a cosmic mailman, and uh, you could go to these people uh, of the scriptures of the Bible, and at, in their present state, whatever state that is, after their great trial or after the things they've gone through, and you would say to them, write a postcard to yourself. What would you say? And so I thought of various people in the scriptures who uh, would be fun to write a postcard to. Like if I went to Peter and said, uh, hey, Peter, uh, I can go back to that point in time uh, right when you were about to get out of the boat. Uh, why don't you write yourself a postcard and write a postcard to yourself? What would you say to yourself at that moment? What would Peter possibly say to himself as he jumped out of the boat? Or maybe you would uh, write a, a, a note to Esther about her great challenge that she's gone through. Once again, you can't change any of the events, but you can, uh, you know, they say hindsight is twenty twenty, right? You look back and say, wow, you know, that was this. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know I, I wouldn't have changed anything because it eventually made me who I am. But then you could take this principle and then reverse it with your kids and say, now, I want you to write a, a, a postcard to yourself and think of a time in your life when you really needed to hear some wisdom or, or something you've learned now that you would like to go back and tell your former self and write a postcard, but go through three or four different characters and, and maybe have a little pinup board where they can kind of pin or tape up their things and let everybody kind of then look at what they would say. But then have one last board where the students would go to, and you can maybe use this as a, a meeting closer about dealing with your past and things like this, or use it on a retreat or, or something like this. But think about having kids then write a note to themselves at a point in time in their life that says, look, I didn't know this then, but I'm going to write a note to myself to tell, the, tell my, my past self and say, you know what? It's going to work out. Or don't worry, God is with you. Or trust the word, trust the scriptures. You know, it could be a time in their life that was painful, or it could be a time in a, a place where uh, they were in a time of serious doubt or serious despair, uh, and they came through it. Uh, and so you're able to write that note back. So you could either take, maybe take those postcards and actually then physically mail them to your students if you use real postcards or if you design your own. And then say, look, remember this. The next time you go through a struggle, the next time you go through a, a moment in time where you think, man, I am not going to make it. Uh, it's not going to happen. Remember that the thing you're going through right now is making you, shaping you, but God is with you right there in the midst of what's going on. And one other thing you might want to consider doing is this, is is having uh, uh, Bible verses uh, available that that kids could remember for the future. In other words, if they were to write a, a verse down, one of these verses, give them 10 verses, is which one of these 10 verses will you most need in your future? Whether it is a verse, um, you know, from uh, Peter, which talks about your faith being tried and tested uh, like gold, or maybe it's a verse uh, about uh, trials and tribulations like Paul writes about. But go through and find those scriptures, those things that are going to help kids hold on to their faith in a tough time, and let them choose one of those and write a little note to themselves, including that verse, and then mail that to them later on. Uh, if you can use that, uh, great. 
If you think you could add some value to it, I'd love to hear your comments. So leave me a comment down below. And also, uh, if you're one of our faithful subscribers, thank you so much for joining me today for the Tuesday Panic. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button. That lets me know you like the video. And of course, you'll, I'll make more of them. Then if you're brand spanking new, thank you so much for hanging out with me for just a few moments. Uh, if you want to uh, get more videos like this in your inbox, please hit the subscribe button right here. And that will get videos in your uh, inbox on a weekly basis. And so uh, would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below. And uh, other than that, I will see you next Monday for Mentor Me Monday. See you later. Have a great week and a great youth meeting.